Today I am putting up the first release of this uh, task visualizer tool that I made, and so I thought I would make uh, just a short video to explain how to use it. So here you can see all of the files that you get uh, from the release, and of course uh, script.txt is going to be whatever task file you want to create the uh, display for. And so this is the um, rumble room task. And then you just simply run run.bat. You can see uh, it just goes by frame by frame. And for the first couple of seconds, it's just waiting for loads as you enter the room. So it'll just add these blank frames uh, with uh, no inputs. And then once the inputs start, you'll see it'll start to process those. And so there are, I think, 500 something frames in this, as it's about nine seconds. And these frames it's producing are going into the frames folder. So you can see all the blank ones. And then down here, there's starting to be some inputs. So in just a minute, that will finish up. All right, and then once that's done, the window will close, and we can see all the frames we need are right here. Once that's done, you're going to want to head into your video editing software of choice. So you may need to alter some of these instructions depending on what that is. Um, in my case, we're working with Premiere, but so you're going to want to have the video of the gameplay, and then just go File Import. Uh, select the first image, uh, but indicate that it is an image sequence, so it'll grab the rest of these and stitch it together as a video. Uh, now, by default, it's saying the frame rate is 30 FPS, but um, the output of both the, the gameplay and the uh, visualizer is 60, so we just need to tell it to assume a 60 FPS frame rate. And then we're going to put it on top of the gameplay. Um, you're going to probably need to sync it up just by, it's not that hard to just check like an A press or something and uh, sync the controller to the video. I've already done that just to save time. And then uh, with this controller display, you can pretty much put it wherever you want, resize it. And then after that, you should have a successful controller output. And so here's what the final product looks like. This is basically the same as the example video I posted a few days ago. And then I'm also just going to play it back at half speed here so you can get a better idea of what's going on. Also, if you are viewing it at 30 FPS, it can look kind of strange because of the spinning and such. So you're going to want to watch at uh, HD 60 FPS if possible. And then the next example, this is the uh, Seaside First Moon by CMFP. He was kind enough to let me use these segments, or use the segment as a demo. I just wanted to have a couple different examples to show off. And so here it is again in slow motion. And that's pretty much it.